Hey everyone, let's talk about how to kick atelectasis to the curb. First up, use your incentive spirometer. If you've ever been given one of these at the hospital, pull it out, dust it off, um, make sure that everything is, of course, nice and clean. You don't want to um, use something that's been sitting in a closet for two years, obviously, without cleaning it. But anyway, um, this part can come off. You can soak this in water, let it air dry, um, just warm, soapy water. Now, if you've been told that you have atelectasis and you do have an incentive spirometer, that is going to be the best thing that you can do to treat the atelectasis. And that's because the incentive spirometer forces you to take a breath in from the bottom to the top. So you're filling up down here from the bottom, like I said, up to the top. So I'm gonna demonstrate. When you use the incentive spirometer, you need to make sure that the blue dot stays in between the arrows. That means that you're pulling it in from the bottom. If you do it quick, it'll fly to the top and you're only getting air in this part of your body. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate. Exhale completely. And I'm going to inhale. So hopefully you saw my stomach go out when I'm inhaling. That means that I'm using my diaphragm. It's dropping and my lungs are being able to fully expand. So if you have atelectasis and you have an incentive spirometer, you want to try to do it at least twice a day and about 10 breaths at a time. If you get dizzy, that means you're over breathing. And so just take a break for a little bit and then go back to it. Okay. The next two things that you want to do if you have atelectasis is practice breathing exercises, both diaphragmatic with a combination of pursed lip. And the reason is the same as the incentive spirometer. You're breathing from the bottom to the top, which means that those distal parts of your lungs, the air is getting to them and they're popping open, okay? So on top of that, once you get the air in, the pursed lip breathing helps you keep those little airways open longer, okay? So let me demonstrate here. You're gonna breathe in with your diaphragm and then you're gonna exhale. You really have to pay attention to the exhale. You don't wanna just all willy-nilly just blow it out, okay? That's not gonna keep your airways open. It has to be slow and controlled. So I'll do it again, inhale, exhale. That whole exhale, literally, I could feel my airway staying open. The air, the distal ends of your airways, that's where the atelectasis takes place. So that part is really important. If you have any questions, just drop them down in the comment section. I have lots of videos on exactly how to do diaphragmatic breathing, pursed lip breathing, and I have videos on exactly how to use this thing. So um, I encourage you to look at those if you have any questions, but if not, drop them in the comment section. And as always, Share this with anyone you think may benefit.